I had to create a look using the new Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. This is the hottest palette out at the moment, <laughs> no pun intended. I'm such a loser. So the new Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette is coming out real soon. They had a flash sale online, so I managed to get my hands on one. If you did too, then hooray! Yeah, the packaging is super sturdy. I feel like they've stepped up their game from Naked 2. It feels a bit more like the Naked Smoky Palette, if you've got that one. Um, so yeah, it's really nice and sturdy, great to travel with, and then you get a really amazing range of shades. They finally bought out like loads of warm tones, and this is like every warm warm toned lovers dream palette like if you love a warm smoky eye then you need this oh and also before i forget i do have a full outfit of the day um, that goes with this makeup look so if you want to check out the outfit that i'm wearing then make sure you head over to my instagram because i'm posting a lot of fashion looks on there at the moment as well as makeup so with all that being said enjoy the makeup look First up, I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to do this and that's because it's so full coverage that it really does work um, as a great base for eyeshadow um, because it also sets matte, doesn't crease and yeah, it just wipes out any discoloration. So I've decided to prime underneath my eyes also because I want to do all of the eyes in one go and then do skin and yeah, I think I like doing it this way also. So yeah, I've just applied that all over the eyes. And then I'm just setting the top of the eye with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to ensure that the base doesn't crease. And then we're going to go ahead with eyeshadow. So the first shade I'm gonna take is the shade Source, and this is gonna be our transitional shade. And as you can see, I'm really getting this color on all over the, um, like above the crease and everything else is going to blend into this so I'm just building this up and blending it out and you want it to kind of be like quite blown out then I'm taking the shade low blow which is a really nice warm brown I really like it it reminds me of uninterrupted by Mac who knows it um so yeah I'm just building this color up and this is going on the outer corner and I'm taking this a bit more through the crease and then I am just turning my brush over and then blending it a little bit higher into that transitional color and then I'm taking this along the lower lash line and as you can see I'm just connecting it all together on the outer corner then I'm mixing these two shades so I'm taking the shade En Fuego and He Devil I think it is um, and then I'm just building this up again on the outer corner of the eye and then again through the crease you always want to take your shadow in small amounts and build it up to get the intensity that you like instead of going in with a ton and then trying to blend it out I'm also repeating that on the lower lash line. So anything we're putting through the crease on the top of the eye, we're doing that on the lower lash line also and joining it all up. Then I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Taker Tape Concealer and then just on a flat synthetic brush, I'm just going to cut the crease. So I like to get most of the product off onto the lid and then just using the edge of the brush. This is a MAC 242, I believe. I'll leave the names of brushes down below for you. And I just find this brush super easy to cut your crease with. I'm just taking this slightly, just a teeny weeny bit higher than my actual crease rather than getting like right into the crease. This just makes your eyes appear a lot larger if you just take it slightly above it. So yeah, I'm just taking this on two thirds of the eye, not all the way to the end. And then I'm going in with the shade Scorched, which is a really nice like, it's almost like a pinky burgundy shade but yeah I'm going to apply this just on the edge of that transition and then the outer corner color so it um, adds a bit of dimension to this eye look by adding a little bit of shimmer into it and then just blending that outer corner bit back into it so it all looks blended and then I'm going in with this really nice light bone colored shade and this is in the shade chaser and this is just going to go all over the lid where the um, crease has been cut so on the lighter part and as you can see it's all just gonna fade and blend really nicely into each other and I'm just taking this right up to that like cut crease line that I've created and then going back in with the shade Scorch to make sure there's like a soft blend between the or well all three shades and then I'm going in with the shade Ashes which is a really deep purple and I'm gonna like line my lash line with this so it looks like I've got like a smoky top lash line and then I'm taking that shade like right into the outer corner and then I'm just doing the same again along the lower lash line again just repeating the same step 
Moving on to eyeliner, I've got my Tarte Clay Pot eyeliner and I am just lining my lash line with this. I like to use a really fine brush so I have a lot of control over it and this is a MAC 210 but yeah I'm getting real nice and close to the lash line and I'm not actually creating a wing and then I don't have a clip of my black eyeshadow but any black eyeshadow I'm just taking that um, just on the outer corner of the eye into where that dark purple is so it all looks like built out and smoked out and that's why I haven't created a wing and then I am cleaning up my eye look with some simple makeup wipes and then I'm going on to skin now so I'm using my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX11 I love this stuff it just covers up my scarring really nice and quickly and it also stays on so well so I love that and then for foundation I've got the new NYX Total Control cover foundation yeah drops yeah anyway this is in the shade caramel i believe yeah be careful with it guys um it's super runny but it is super buildable and very full coverage if you want me to do a full review on this let me know and i'll be happy to do that And then the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, it's making its third appearance in this video. It's super like handy and like really, really good to have. Honestly, you can use it in so many ways. So yeah, now I'm using it to conceal my dark circles and also to highlight around my face. So I've just applied it in the usual spots, under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, top of the forehead, cupid's bow, chin, and then I've just blended it out and taking it just up the sides of my nose also. And that will just help my nose appear a little bit slim and yeah it just I feel it looks nicer and then I'm making sure I don't get it like right into that lower lash line and then just going back in with that eyeshadow brush that I've been using to make sure it's softly blended out into the concealer then before I powder my concealer I'm gonna go in with a liquid highlighter and this is iconic London illuminator drops in the shade original and I'm just blending this in with my beauty blender just on the top of my cheekbones honestly this stuff is amazing then I can go in with my powder. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just like patting this in to um, like on the sides of my nose, again, to make it look smaller. Um, but also, yeah, I'm just gonna like blend this out under my eyes. Um, and I'm just concealing, not concealing, I'm powdering anywhere where I feel like I get oily, which is mainly my T-zone. So that is what I'm doing. And then I don't like powder to sit on my skin for too long, so I'm just dusting it straight off. I'm trying not to use too much like powder, guys, and have a bit more of a dewy look. So that's what I was going for in this video. Um, so yeah, then I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest, and this is to bronze. So I'm just applying this through my cheeks and also just on the top of my top of my forehead, well, my temple, sorry. And this is just gonna add a bit of warmth back into the skin and bring in a little bit of dimension. And then to contour, I've got my Morphe 9C palette and I'm taking the darker shade from it. I'm just taking this through the hollows of my cheeks, making sure that I make my face appear a little bit slimmer, a little bit more structured. So yeah, I'm just going in with bits of this. I like to, again, like eyeshadow, slowly build it up. Don't wanna go in with too much at first because it's the worst trying to like blend it out. Um, so yeah, and then just taking it along the temples and then yeah, went in with a little bit more just on the cheekbones. And then for powder highlighter, I've got the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Coco Bling. Yes, I died. It's insane, guys. It's intense. And also on top of uh, the iconic London Illuminated Drops, the combination is just a dream. I was so happy and excited applying this highlighter because, yeah, I, yeah, you can see it. I was loving it. I was like, really? Is this happening? Um, and then I'm going with, with uh, MAC Oh Darling. Oh, no. Uh, well, I am, but actually I forgot to contour my nose. So I'm just doing that quickly now whoopsie and then I'm going in with the oh darling highlighter and I'm applying the rest of my face with that because I feel like the cocoa bling one is a little bit glittery so I don't want glitter everywhere um, and then I'm taking the oh darling highlighter just on the inner corners of my eyes to brighten and I loved that then I've got Makeup Geek Blush in the shade Covet and this is just going on the apples of the cheeks and back towards that contour and then I'm going to line my waterline 
with the NYX, um, they're like an inner waterline pencil and they stay on so well and they're super dark. I think this was like a dark purple one, I'll leave the name of it down below, but these pencils are actually new. So yeah, it was really, really cool and I really liked how it went on. And then for mascara, I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and where have I been? I haven't used this mascara before and I've fallen in love with it. But I know it's been out for ages, so I am so late to the party. Anyway, for lashes, I've got the Melia Lashes in the shade Aura, which looked beautiful. And then finally for lips, I've got a little bit of a combination going on. You know how I like to do that. Um, well, actually, it's not too much. It's just lip liner, liquid lipstick and gloss. Um, so for lip liner, I'm using Cork Lip Liner by MAC. And I've just lined my lips with that. For liquid lipstick, I have got Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I have a NYX Butter Gloss. I think it's in the shade Madeline. I'll leave the name of it down below again. But I'm just applying this um, in the center of my lips to add a bit of dimension. And then spritzing my skin with Fix Plus to just enhance the glow. But this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you like it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Please do comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.